Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're making a text parallax effect inside of Webflow. It's very easy to do, it only takes a few steps, so let's see how to do that. But before that, in the description below, you will find a link to the clonable project, so you can clone this particular project inside of your own Webflow account. So if you would like to follow along with the tutorial with the exact thing that I'm doing, you can do that as well. So let's jump straight into it. So I already prepared a bit of content, so let me walk you through what I did. The first thing I did is I created a div block, which I called wrapper and I gave it a width of 100 view width and a height of 150 view height. So it's taking 100% of the width and 150% of the viewport height. I also gave it a display flex with the airline center and justify center. So everything that I put inside will be centered. Next, I inserted inside of the wrapper a div block, which I called image block, and I gave it a width of 800 pixels with a position relative and a Z index of two. And this block serves to hold the image that I put in. And I put in this nice cyberpunk style image. So let's create the text right now. So the first thing to make that happen is I will insert a div block inside of the wrapper. And the shortcut to insert elements quickly in Webflow is Command E. And then I'm going to write div. I'm going to press enter. And here's my div block. I'm going to call that div block headline. I'm going to display it flex. Align center, justify center. And I'm going to put that as relative. The next thing I'm going to do is I will go to the image block and I will switch the position from relative to absolute. And now I will go back to headline and again, command E for shortcut and I will insert a heading. So I'm going to insert a heading and I'm going to write Vietnam. You can't see it because I didn't, uh, we can't see the size of it. It's too small, so let's go with 280 pixels and a similar height, maybe 300 pixels. I'm going to change that color to a nice blue, let's say, something like this. Yep, yeah, looks great. I'm going to copy that style. So now we can see that the image is on top of the text. Why is that? Is because if you go to the image block, you see the position as a Z index of two. And if you take a look at the headline, it has a Z index of auto, which simply means that it's the default mode, which means that anything that has a Z index superior to zero is going to be placed on top of this one. Next, what we need to do is to create a heading that's going to be the outline that's going to sit on top of the image. So what I'm going to do is inside of the headline, I'm going to insert another heading that I'm going to call, that I'm going to write Vietnam as well. But what I'm going to do in the heading one, I'm going to call, I'm going to give it a class of headline, heading. So the similar heading that we used before, but I'm going to duplicate that, duplicate the class, and I'm going to call that heading absolute. And I'm going to go to position, switch that from static to absolute, and I'm going to give it a Z index of three. So now we can see that the second text is placed on top of the image because the Z index is three and the Z index of the image is two. What I need to do now is I don't want to see this full text. I only want to see the outline of the text. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to color and I'm going to remove completely the color of this uh, second text. And natively, you cannot do the outline effect inside of Webflow. So what you need to do is to add a bit of custom code that's very simple that I'm sharing in the description below. So you just have to copy and paste and change a few things it's going to work perfectly. So you're going to go to the description below and you're going to go to this Notion link that I'm sharing with you and you will see this little bit of code. All you're going to do is you're going to select the code, copy it. You're going to go back to Webflow project. You're going to click on pages on the home, you're going to click on this little arrow to see the settings, you're going to click on settings, you drop down, and you're going to paste inside the head tag, you're going to paste that here. In this particular piece of code, you need to pay attention to three things. The first is this class, you need to replace this CSS class by your own class. So let's do that. I'm going to click on save, I'm going to go to the heading absolute, I'm going to select that, copy that, going to go back to the custom code and I'm going to remove that. I'm going to paste that here. An important thing in CSS is that you cannot put 
caps inside of a class. So what you need to do is to replace the big H by a small H. So I'm going to do that. So what I can do now is I can modify the visual style of this particular outline effect. So this first line is going to determine the width of the outline of your text. So I'm going to keep that to two pixels. And the second line here is going to determine the color. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this particular hex code to the color that I want. So I'm going to first save that. I'm going to go to the heading, the first one with this color. I'm going to select that, copy that. I'm going to go back to the code and then I'm going to just remove this and paste that. Next, all I have to do is save and I will publish it. So let's see. So let's see what happens. And now, boom, this text is working very nicely. So you have the uh, regular text. And then next, what you have is this nice outline that's sitting on top of the image. So it's very nice. The one thing I would recommend is that you would still use the outline on the text that's sitting below. Because let's say you want to have a uh, outline width of 10 pixels. This is going to be very big and there's going to be a big difference between the text that has an outline and the text that doesn't have an outline. So all you have to do is to go to the text that's sitting behind. You would just copy the class, go to the custom code, drop down, and then next to heading absolute, you comma, create a dot, and you paste your CSS class. But again, you cannot have the cap, so let's remove the big H and replace it by a small H. And then you click on save, you publish the changes. Let's see. And now everything is very nice and tight. So if you're just looking to do the outline effect, then you're pretty much done. But if you want to go a bit deeper, I'm going to add a bit of interaction to add a nice parallax to the text. But the first thing I'm going to do to see this best is I'm going to add a bit of space on top of the this wrapper and below this wrapper. So I'm going to add a div block which I'm going to go wrapper dot dash small and I'm going to give that a width of 100 view width and a height of 50 view width. And I'm simply going to copy and paste that and I'm going to drag that to the top and I'm going to change the color to black. Now I'm ready to add the interaction. So I'm going to click on wrapper and I'm going to go to element trigger and while scrolling in view select an action, play scroll animation, and I'm going to create a new scroll animation. And I'm going to call that scroll parallax effect. Now what I'll do is I will go to the headline, I will take the heading, and I will click on a plus, I will set that to move. I will go to the X and I'm going to maybe write this to, I want it to start at maybe minus 50 pixels. And at the bottom, I want 50 pixels. Next, I'm going to go to the heading absolute, click, I'm going to select move, and I'm going to do the same thing, minus 50 pixels to start. And to end, I want a not scale, but I obviously want to move by 50 pixels. If I just, oh, I messed something, so right click, change target, I want heading absolute to work. Then I click on done and smoothing 50. Uh, this is a previous test. So what I want is create a bit of delay, add an offset of maybe 40%. And yeah, 40% is so. An offset simply means that it will not start as soon as the uh, wrapper scroll into the view, but it will wait about 40% of the page before the animation kicks in. So I'm going to publish the changes and we'll see how this works. So I'm going to refresh the page. And now as I scroll into the text, I can see it moving nicely. So we created a nice little parallax effect as I scroll up and down, and you can see that the outline is following the text, so it feels like it's only one uh, line of text, but actually it's two. So now this is a nice tool that you have in your design arsenal to make your website stand out a little more. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, you can click the thumbs up below. And if you would like to see more Webflow tutorials where I cover a lot of things about Webflow, you can subscribe to the channel because I'm posting new videos every single week. In the meantime, I wish you a good day and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.